Hello buddies, now I'm going to Sami Sagar, grade 6 from Pimbach Garden School. Today's Kama Yogi Appa message. We know our routine work fully and at the level of almost not, nothing is impossible, but we know it unconsciously. Thank you. Bye. Hi guys, I'm your buddy and in this show we are going to see the answer for the buddy's curl post. Let's start the show. Before you think that I am being too strict with my posts, pause and realize that very young children don't understand sarcasm. They can't figure out you are playing with them. They don't enjoy being laughed at and mocked. I will describe a scene. A child is playing with a doll toy. An adult walks into the scene and takes away the toy and holds it high up in the air that the child can't reach. The child tries to reach up. The adult laughs. The child keeps trying and the adult enjoys this. The child then gets frustrated and begins to get angry and cries. The adult now gives the toy back and leaves with a satisfied smirk or continues playing this game. What is described may seem like normal. It isn't. It is bullying. It is using our power over the child and making them feel helpless and powerless so we can feel good about ourselves when we give the child what they want. It is not fun to make someone cry and then give them what they want. If our child does the exact same thing in the park with his friend, we police them and order them to give the toy right away. Why say things we don't mean just to see the emotions of the child? We enjoy the cuteness and find their expressions adorable. The child is agitated, cries and gets frustrated because they feel very disrespected. We mock their anger and make them feel ashamed of feeling these emotions also. We goad them into behaving the way we want them to and call it play. I am sorry, we need to find better, respectful ways to play with children without playing with their emotions. We have to play with children without making them feel powerless. We can't prank them thinking they will enjoy it too. Adults enjoy this kind of play and have the brain capacity to find the fun in all this but children aren't equipped enough. Did I make you wonder why I am picking at every single thing we do with children and find fault? Good, we need to be conscious. We all know when the child is enjoying the play and when they stop to. For children play is not play. Play is their life. Please don't normalize bullying at home and make them think it is fun to make someone feel powerless. Thank you buddies. Hi hello buddies, I'm your RJ Jashan, grade 8 from Primrath Garden School. This is a message from Savitri by Arabindo. The passive skies were neutral, empty and still. Thank you, bye.